Hi friends, welcome back. So last time we discussed about uh, you know uh, we have seen some problems. Today also we'll see two or three problems. Then we'll switch to the gate problems. Okay. The important thing now one of the points of the Nike is plowed in the purpose we have seen in which we can find out the k value for the system stability, isn't it? So uh, you know the thing is. Today we will consider the question in which we have the k values also. So please watch it carefully, it's very 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 important. Okay. So let me draw the better manage. Black screen le lete hai. And the question is question is GHS k is plus 1 is plus 2 is plus 3 this is the question in this question you have k value also now the question is in find out the Nike's plot and system stability I have to draw the Nike's plot and find out the stability stability for different values ok Okay. Oh, message kar raha hai re. Okay. So, uh, come. We'll do this. What will be the graph indirectly? We can plot that. So, how many poles you have? Finite poles? Three poles. Isn't it? Your journey will start from this, for two poles this, three poles this. So I think till now you remember this, I think you know very well how to draw it, isn't it? So this is the direct polar plot I'm drawing, the direction is this, okay, but you are looking for the Nyquist plot, so you will just replicate this and this, I'm sorry, sorry in advance, okay, my drawing is not good. yellow so this is the nyquist plot this is the nyquist plot okay now you know one thing this point we need to calculate because this this will be in the form of k isn't it this point this point so let's find out the magnitude so we can you know give the point exact magnitude of these two points so these two points are related to the k value now. So let me do that. What I'm saying is e, the magnitude of this gh it will be k omega square plus one and omega square plus four omega square plus nine isn't it? So this is the magnitude at omega equal to 0 you can put and you can find out the value so when omega equal to 0 the magnitude at omega equal to 0 is nothing but k 1 4 9 so this is k by 6 at omega equal to 0 this is k by 6 okay and you need this one also at this point what is the magnitude you need to know so how to calculate this this is not point at infinite omega equal to infinite this is the point where your plot is crossing 180 degree minus 180 degree this is minus 180 degree point so how to calculate 180 degree point you will find out the phase of this you will find out the phase angle of gh i mean is it okay and you will compare that with minus 180 so let's find out first the phase this will be 10 inverse omega minus 10 inverse omega by 2 minus 10 inverse omega by 3 okay so now we will compare this entire equation with minus 180 why because we need to calculate this point 
So, if you want to calculate this point, we need the value of omega at this point. At this point, if you have the value of omega, this omega will go like this, you will put in this equation and you will get the magnitude, isn't it? Isn't it? So, when you will solve this equation, only one unknown you have. Okay, so the omega you will get that is 3.33 radian per second. 3.33 radian per second. Okay, now if 3.33 you will put in the equation 1. Put in equation 1 now. So put in equation 1. So what you will get, you know, the magnitude is k by 60. So now this point is k by 60. So I'll draw this graph on the next page. So this is your graph and your plot, sorry. And this plot, this point is k by 6. And this point is, you calculated this at k by 60, k by 60, where you calculated here your omega value is actually 3.33 so magnitude over 3.33 is k by 60 and for this directly you put omega equal to 0 in the magnitude so magnitude equation so you get this value now we'll do the analysis for stability okay for the stability now now I do not know where this k by 60 is, isn't it? It may be inside of this, outside of this. So first let, let's condition, the first condition is the minus 1 plus j0 point is inside of this. Inside of this means this one is greater than this. The condition will be the first condition, the first case, the k by 60. This is the magnitude. Let's take the magnitude. The magnitude of this is greater than 1. Magnitude. Actually, this is minus 1, isn't it? But the magnitude we are considering. So, this k is greater than 60. In this case, the point, our study point will be inside. So, if this is inside, let's check the system is stable or not. The direction is, this direction is coming like this, clockwise. It's going clockwise and here it's clockwise so encirclement minus 1 minus 1 why minus 1 in the last lecture i told you for the clockwise minus 1 for anti clockwise plus 1 baba so n equal to for the first case we are talking about n equal to minus 2. So, for the first case, the formula is n equal to p minus z. In the question, did you have any, uh, you know, uh, RH plane, RH of S plane poles? No, 0. Here you are getting minus 2, minus z. So, z equal to, extremely sorry, z equal to 2. So, this is unstable system. This is unstable system. Why an unstable system? Because z equal to 2, number of closed loop poles. Now let's come to the case 2. Case 2 is, this is case 1, okay? Case 1 is over. Now let's come to case 2. The point is exactly at this. This point itself is minus 1 j0. The case 2 we are talking about. This is case 2. Your point is over here, means k by 60, the magnitude is just equal to 1, means k equal to 60. So, at k equal to 60, what is the scene? k equal to 60. So, number of encirclement, find out the encirclement. Encirclement is 0. The formula n equal to p minus z, n is 0, p is 0, z. So, z is 0, no encirclement. System is stable system. Stable system. Why? Because 
the closed loop poles are zero. So system will be stable system. And let's come to the case three. Now case three. Case three says let's take this minus one plus j zero out of this. Means this value k by sixty is less than this, isn't it? This is case three. So in the case three, the k by sixty value will be lesser than one. One is one bada hai se. So one is greater than k by sixty. Okay. So um, k is less than sixty. So this is the case. The first case, k greater than sixty, system is unstable. K is exactly sixty, system is stable. What about this? For this also, no encirclement. Encirclement zero. Z will be zero. The system is stable system. The system is stable system. Now, what we what is the conclusion then? The conclusion. What is the conclusion? What is the range of k value for the system stability? So I'll do on the next page. Come over here. The case one we have seen. If k is greater than sixty, it will be unstable. If k is equal to sixty, then stable. K is less than sixty, then also stable. So the range of k for the stability. The range of k. This is okay. The k is less than sixty or equal to sixty. The system will be stable. But what is the lower limit? Do you have any idea of lower limit? No. How to find that? Okay, we'll discuss. So up to this is okay. If k is less than sixty or equal to sixty, the system will be stable. But what about this lower value? So lower value we'll find out by wait a minute. So come over here. Till now we have seen this. The k for the stability should be lesser than or equal to sixty. But what about this? So to find out this, this not point will help you. Whenever the stability condition is lesser than certain value, the stability can. This are uh, this is the stability condition. This one. And this is lesser than from some certain value, then the lower limit is decided by intersection point of the plot with zero of plot with zero. So for this question, this point with zero is k equal to uh, k by six, isn't it? This point is k by six. So to Find out the lower value. What you will do is decided by the intersection point with with zero. It must be greater than minus one. So this k by six should be greater than uh, minus one. This is your condition. Okay, it means k should be greater than minus six. So this will be minus six will come over here. So this is the Condition. This is the condition for stability. The same question, whatever we have seen, you will do by the RH criteria. In the RH criteria, also you can easily find out the uh, you know the k value, the range of the k value. So please find out that and please check it. If there is any problem, then let me know so we'll correct that. Okay. So I think this is enough for this class. In the next class, we'll take the gate problems. We'll meet in the next. Till then, take care and bye.